I think it's uh, basically education suppose you see to bring a happy life, happy community, finally happy world. But that I think fail. Mm. So today, including insects, birds, other animals, everyone, everyone, you see, want a happy life. At least, do not want disturbances. Certainly, we human being, same. But if you look uh, every day, television or uh, news, I think a lot of problem. Essentially, our own creation. Why? Now that's the question. Now, I think children uh, before join education, basic human nature is very much alive. So children, they don't care, the other children, what is their religious belief, what is their nationality, what is their family uh, sort of background. So long, play together with a smile. And then here, the according scientist Many scientists, uh, basic human nature is more compassionate. It is quite logical. Seven billion human beings, including those troublemakers, <laughs> they also come from their mother. At a young age, just like young human being, uh, and received maximum uh, care or loving kindness from their mother from their friend. I usually is describing my first teacher about compassion is my mother, not my father. <laughs> father, very short temper. <laughs> I also got some punish, punishment like that. My mother, I think, uh, never show Angry face, very kind. So basically, uh, because of mother's loving kindness, we survived. And according to scientists, those children who received maximum affection from their mother, their whole life in deep insight, some kind of uh, say, peace or sense of security, that those individuals at the time when very young, either mother abandoned or some negative thing, then they, uh, no matter how sort of superficial, successful, in deep insight, some kind of sense of insecurity there. So that's our life started. And then, logically, we can say we are social animal. Uh, any social animal, including uh, like birds or some animals, any social animal is the individual survival entirely dependent on the group of the sort of uh, group, group of the sort of the, the group. Hmm? Individual survival depend on the group. So we are social animal. Basically like that. Now, now question is, oh, if basic human nature is more compassionate and nice and social animal, then why? It's a lot of problem which essentially human beings themselves created. 
Now, big question is educational. I feel, I often used to telling people, young children, uh, before join education, the basic nature of human, human thing, very fresh. Once they join school, at the school, not much talking about this basic value. Oh. And then, now here, uh, if I may say so, the so-called existing modern education started from the West. <laughs> so, like the uh, Western world, when industrialization start, before that, I think, as far as I know, the education really carried by monastery and nunnery. Oh. So education very much uh, combined with religious faith. Then gradually, the industrialization is started. And then uh, we need a different kind of education, mathematics, and then eventually the science or these things. So it need separate education institution is necessary. So at that time, I feel more balance, moral principle, mm, taken care by church. The newly developed education institution now mainly concerned about brain development, not warm-heartedness. Mm. So at the beginning, it quite well balanced, I think. Then gradually, the, we can see now, nowadays in Europe and also America, a big monastery, Christian monastery or nunnery, now empty. People not much pay attention to these things. So only education. Now education, which mm, Western world <laughs> now <laughs> develop or start is more or less uh, material because of that oriented about material value, technology and science and science and technology also then mainly meant for economy. So whole generation who come through that kind of education is now not much sort of knowledge how to keep inner peace when they experience anger, jealousy, fear. Oh, they do not know how to tackle. So people who carry that kind of education, when, when they facing some uh, emotional problem, they usually rely on drugs or alcohol. And the too much emotion, then uh, last thing is suicide. <laughs> so that is, I, I feel, existing education, uh, not talk, so no lesson, no talk, how to keep peace of mind. For that, uh, you see, in education, these days I usually see telling the uh, kindergarten level. See, we usually see, uh, I mean, include uh, hygiene. hygiene of physical. We teach children. Now we should include hygiene of emotion from kindergarten level. We can ask student or young child, do you appreciate angry face or smiling face? Naturally, 
the answer is smiling face, including their own parent. When occasionally parent showing angry face, they don't like. <laughs> so the children, you see, naturally, biologically, they love human love, human compassion. Compassion means sense of concern of their well-being, not self-centered, I, I, I. Children also, they know, they love I, simply. But in order to be happy I, they need sort of the positive atmosphere, friend. So showing concern, showing love to other is actually the best way to take care of yourself. Since many years, I sort of expressing that we are, including animals, uh, taking care of yourself, some kind of selfish there. Now that selfish should be wise selfish rather than foolish selfish. That means taking care of your own interest but since we are social animal, uh, in order to fulfill your wish, uh, you have to take care about uh, a community like that. So therefore, now education, I think, should include the education, how to develop inner peace, how to develop uh, inner strength. Now here, uh, I now may a may little critical view. <laughs> the Christian world or Muslim world, when there are problem, you see, including mental problem, start, they only pray to God or Allah. They do not know how to tackle mind. Now here, India, over 3,000 years, the, the concept of Ahimsa and Karuna, these are not just praying, it's dealing with our inner world. And for that, you see, this country, over 3,000 years, the practice of Shamatha, practice of vipassana, that means single-pointed mind, uh, that shows already except a uh, mind is important, not just physical level. So when we talk mind, not sensorial level mind, but uh, mental level mind, the materialistic life only talks at the sensory level, seeing nice and feel happy. Uh, nice music, feel happy. Uh, so real troublemaker, anger, fear, these not sensory level, but mental level. So firstly, we should accept mind, sensory level, five minds, five consciousness, marbe, five consciousness. Oh, then sixth mind, which at the time of dreaming, five senses of organs no longer working, but sixth mind is still there. So, trouble, real troublemaker, anger, fear, you see, related with sixth mind, not sensorial. So, firstly, I think it is useful to know the map of emotion, map of mind. Uh, we should not consider uh, consciousness, mind, just one single sort of identity, no. There are a lot of sort of uh, different kind of emotion, different kind of mind. Uh, nothing to do with religion, but academic subject. So I think uh, in our education, in order to teach 
the hygiene of emotion, we should have more knowledge about the whole system of our mind, our emotion, then much better uh, to tackle <clears throat> this negative mind about to move. The person already know the whole system of the emotion. So then much better position to deal with the negative emotion. Okay. Then no need Kasa tranquilizer. <laughs> <laughs> one day in Switzerland, one long journey, I stop at lunchtime one uh, big family. So very nice. And then after meal, I wash uh, my mouth and uh, in, in the bathroom. And then perhaps, I think, illegal. I open the door, a box, a little sort of, because of the open. It so the, so little bit open. Oh, then I try to open <laughs> out, of, out of curiosity. Or then one bottle of tranquilizer there. So then I felt uh, that, uh, what's it, uh, a because of the materially uh, successful family also need tranquilizer. <laughs> so therefore, uh, you know, all this lack of knowledge, how to keep peace of mind. Peace of mind, not through prayer, but the destroyer of peace of mind, what is emotion? That's anger, fear, uh, ultimately to my self-centered attitude, these things. And then also now here, quantum physics also is very useful. Some Chinese quantum physicist, some student, they notice those students who believe quantum physics, you see, they, they are sort of, I said, they grasping. Yeah, grasping at things. Oh, it's positive or negative, too much grasping, something independent sort of positive or negative. So, so see, more grasping than uh, attachment, anger, this come. So now quantum physics also now say, nothing exists as appears. Most of the destructive emotion, very much based on appearances, not the deeper reality. So now quantum physicists, some student noticed that. That's exactly Buddhist psychology, particularly Nagarjuna, Madhimika philosophy. Uh, now, uh, I myself, now 84 year old, I think over, over now, more than 70 years, I seriously thinking this concept. Very helpful to keep peace of mind. And plus, combined with altruism. Altruism because of the infinite love, other. So these two things, really very, very helpful. For me, best tranquilizer. <laughs> no need external thing. Through my own mind, I have plenty of tranquilizer. Very useful. So these, although these information come from religious text, uh, we should take these uh, academic subject or health subject. So, so now the main thing is uh, so long our uh, uh, negative emotion there. Then religion itself now a source of conflict, killing. Next, our neighbor, the Middle East, Syria, and North uh, Afghanistan. It's really unthinkable. 
same Muslim, same Allah, same Quran, and five times prayer. Then, due to little sort of, I mean, different name, Shia and Sunni killing each other. Unthinkable. You see, both except Allah, creator. So both Shia and Sunni, both, you see, created by Allah. Truly brothers, sisters, children of Allah, how can kill each other? So, the, so the, that's today's world. And then uh, I think whole generation, because of the uh, education, materialistic education, so whole generation create materialistic life, materialistic culture. So then there is no room about, you see, compassion, these things. So uh, now in education, we should include uh, hygiene of emotion. The best thing is uh, more compassionate mind, your mind, your emotion, much peaceful. And the result, now some scientists say, constant fear, constant anger is actually eating our immune system. So, uh, not based on, you see, the religious sort of, uh, text, but based on scientific finding, we can teach children the hygiene of emotion is important. A basic human nature is more compassionate. So now, education, so-called, I usually call modern education, which uh, come from Europe, mainly. How many English? Englishmen? Some English? <laughs> no. <laughs> so you, uh, for, for, for example, India, the British, uh, or is it the Casa? Colonies. Uh, col colonists. You see, they, they, they carry some very good work, rail, construction of railway or so on, these things. Uh, in the meantime, they introduce modern education, now, modern India, sometimes I sort of teasing, oh, this physical, not Indian, uh, but my mind, I'm more Indian than these uh, modern educated sort of Indian. <laughs> <laughs> so therefore, now we should, uh, firstly, I think, Within India, now my latest commitment is try to revival of ancient Indian knowledge, how to tackle our mind, our emotion. Then India, only I think India, you see, can do combination of ancient Indian knowledge, how to tackle our emotion, then modern education combined. Firstly, uh, so I already you see, committed some or is it a program uh, with the help of the local the government college hmm? uh, and also in Delhi. Now we already started some program. You see, education about emotion, strictly secular way, not related with religion. Hmm? So, uh, Firstly, I think let India is revival this knowledge. Then, uh, I think previous century, the nonviolence concept, I think uh, mainly Mahatma Gandhiji, he really uh, show world the problem uh, can solve according non-violent principle, no weapon. And then Nelson Mandela 
sincerely follow that. And then Karsa Chukti, Ka, Martin Luther King, totally so dedicated, non-violent. So, so now, 21st century, I think uh, India now should show world the ahimsa related with corona, mental level. So how to create peaceful mind? How to tackle when anger comes? These are ancient Indian knowledge. Hmm? So this uh, should revive. My latest, my commitment is try to revive ancient Indian knowledge and combine with modern knowledge. So we already have some program. Uh, so eventually, I think, uh, I think within this year, we can start the teacher's training mm -hmm. about, about mind. Uh, there we have some special sort of books about the variety of emotion, variety of mind. What do you say, Kasari? Study of mind. So, uh, so then, uh, within India, there's nothing you see new, just a revival of thousand-year-old India's knowledge, and then combined with modern education modern knowledge, then show the world, as previous century, show the world ahimsa, non-violence. So similarly, now in, uh, in future, in this century, I think India's uh, rich knowledge how to tackle our emotion, uh, that I think we can, uh, we can make some significant contribution. So, so in any way, now education mainly deal with brain. But that education uh, utilized for construction or destruction related with motivation. Like uh, immense sort of uh, has a power of weapon, including nuclear bomb. You see, use this intelligence, human, uh, but lack of moral principle. So, our wonderful brain must combine with warm heartedness, sense of responsibility. And then the Westerner, as, it, as far as the house of religion, uh, believe you see creator very powerful we all all created by one god that's like our father that father nobody say god is full of anger no god uh, whether allah or jesus christ or buddha and uh, shivaji so on Everybody say, God is infinite love. So that's our father. We all children of that father who have infinite love. So Western world, if you truly believe the creator, Jesus Christ, infinite love, how can you kill each other? First World War, Second World War, unthinkable. If you see, seriously think, Creator, we all children of one Father, how can? So therefore, uh, uh, so so ultimately, now education, combination of. Uh, or the uh, brain, wonderful human brain, and with help of human brain, we can develop infinite love. Other animal cannot do because uh, lack of brain.
we only human being we have the ability to develop that loving kindness infinite way so now education uh, existing education not adequate i think most of the trouble maker on this planet i think as far as the modern education is concerned they all have very good modern education but that education uh become as the disposal of jealousy fear attachment uh and anger so that's my view now some further question got it second question got it Uh, thank you very much, Your Holiness. Um, I'd like to open uh, the questions up. Sorry, Margarita. Now, this kind of sort of at the meeting is a clear indication a number of sort of educa- educator begin to feel existing education system not adequate so that's a wonderful sign so now this is mm, i think hopefully they from different places and annually should discuss and first we put big question the our society with modern education uh the situation whether satisfy or not the democracy or this different system this is basic motivation and combined with sort of the wisdom here the religion also become trouble maker so all political system original motivation is very good like socialism or democracy wonderful but they carry that system person lack of moral principle and lack of sort of the brain ability then short sighted not thinking long term interest so Uh, without so sort of brain we can't see the long term kasoda kasa ka long term purpose long term purpose long term interest short sighted like that and then without warm heartedness then even your family eventually ruined so uh education uh, nothing to do with religion uh india's now tradition secular no religion without religion just you see use our common sense uh, that's very good india's tradition secular so non including now today's uh, world population about s- about 7 se- billion uh One billion non-believer. Among the six billion, suppose believer, but also sometimes troublemaker. <laughs> All these, you see, happen because of uh, lack of the uh, not only knowledge but moral principle. Because education system something lacking, just materialistic education. Okay. <laughs> no next question. And <laughs> any <laughs> argument? When you are the Shiyongi Chaki Kanji Sobeyana, me Rahin that somebody so so your resume. Tirwa. Me Rahin said they me Rahin to come the me vanda me the mangochi your was. Did you some of that in the you name? I think the human nature different level deeper level 
We human beings, social animal, as I mentioned earlier, seven billion human beings born from their mother receive the maximum affection. Without that, they can't survive. That's the basic human nature. And as I mentioned earlier, the scientists also now saying basic human nature is more compassionate. Next. I do not understand. Is there something that is missing in a democratic approach to education? We need something in addition. Huh. I think a basic human value, social animal, that in order to receive maximum benefit to yourself, should take care about other, because we are social animal. That is the, the principle of democracy. So then, different name, that's something different. Next. According to your vision, what does it really mean to be an educator or teacher? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I mentioned earlier, teacher's training, important. Teacher should have, you see, the holistic view, this knowledge. Then teach student. I think naturally, uh, I think teacher who usually, you see, showing real care of student, sense of sort of responsibility, and showing love, then children, always happy to, uh, to, to participate classroom. If the ch uh, teacher uh, may be great scholar, but without a smile, always angry face, <laughs> then the student is don't care, isn't it? Uh, my own case, when I study the difficult subject, my tutor keep one whip, so that uh, the, the time of that lesson comes, whole sky become dark. <laughs> <laughs> that gradually, you see, I also, you see, then uh, uh, better knowledge, so my teacher always shows smile, so then I feel much happier. Oh. You know, that's one thing which bothers me for more than 50 years. Um, that is the question of violence. Violen mm. Violence. Violence, yes. Violence against nature, against other human beings, war, you mentioned it, and also against ourselves. And um, you, you know uh, Johann Galtung and some other people we founded um, 50 years ago, a commission of peace education in the International Peace Research Association. And so the issue of peace uh, is one which uh, is important in my, my life. And I'm just wondering how you go about violence. Uh, you know, there was one way of dealing with violence that relates to the, as UNESCO said, to the spirit and to the mind of people. Mm -hmm. But violence is also in institutions, in the international system. And I'm just wondering how, hmm? how you, would you go about Basic human nature, violence? as scientists say, yeah. are more compassionate. Yeah. And then our daily experience, oh, anger comes, or jealousy comes, destroy it, our peace of mind. Oh not only create a problem for others, but they themselves, you see, suffer a lot. So knowing these things, then uh, you get conviction, nonviolence, ahimsa, nonviolence 
is the proper way to deal problem. So, as a human society, different interests or different views always there. The, but then, basically, all human brothers, sisters, whether we like it or not, we have to live on this planet. And then also now, global warming become quite serious. So recent uh, month, I have some sort of meeting, including some Chinese ecologist. One one Chinese ecologist. Now the, he mentioned, oh, within next uh, seven, eight decades, world may face end. So now global warming is very serious in Mongolia. Now, uh, uh, the other day I heard the, uh, the snowfall much less. So many animals dying. Uh, now in India also is a facing problem. America also now, the weather condition unpredictable. All these, you see, uh, due to global warming. So when I heard, you see, the, the Chinese ecologist, now within the next few decades, the uh, possibility of the uh, world become desert. So then I thought, I already 84, I have no worry. <laughs> <laughs> but those young, younger ones, and your children, I think, have to think seriously global warming. So whole world. Now, Afghanistan. Previously, we can see there are many lakes, now desert. So Tibet also now, uh, decade by decade, the water resources less and less. In Siberia, what was the climate condition? The global warming in Siberia, it becomes serious or not? Also, they feel. Mm -mm. Yes, also they feel uh, the difference in Siberia now. Mm -mm. Also. So, so the uh, global warming is very very serious. The number of sort of people now thinking to reduce use because of the coal, 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 and solar energy, and wind energy. That's very good. Some uh, industrialized nation, you see, use coal and these things, and then affect whole world because uh, of the experience. So that additional problem. If they, uh, now I'm, I'm Buddhist, uh, according Indian uh, few tradition, Jainism, Buddhism, and one part of Sangya, Sangyaism, no creator. Uh, uh, rest of the religion have the concept of creator. So now we have to complain to creator. Why global warming? <laughs> I think uh, I think it's God also is have some I think plan. So world created uh, then certain limitation of life of that world. <laughs> so in any way, because the global warming very serious. Then you see taking care about you see global warming. I think we, each individual, should have that concept. Since many years, you see, I, uh, I never sort of take kasa, kasa, the, ka, or the, tungbe, tungbe, 
Tap, tap. Bath tap. Bath tap. I never use. Just a shower. Suppose you see protection of water. But shower two times. <laughs> one in morning, one in evening. <laughs> I never saw because of the use the because of the, the and then when I passing through uh, to uh, in previously to railway uh, some station water just you see go like that I feel very uncomfortable now India the water shortage some area really some area too much water so this uh, global warming is beyond our control. So quite serious, quite serious. So sometimes uh, I think our lifestyle, I think necessary to change, to modify according to the, the reality. In Africa, a lot of people, some area too dry, some area too much water, Very sad. Hmm. I, I, I agree completely with what you said about climate and, and also about the education of emotion. I have to, I have to just get in one kind word for a, a tr traditional education, public education in the United States. I think the one thing that was a very strong focus of our system from the beginning of it was to, we had uh, huge flows of immigrants. Hmm? In, we had uh, huge flows, many, many immigrants from all many parts of the world, and a focus of our public education system was to try to bring them together as young children. So they would, as you say, hmm? they would play together, they would get to know each other when they were very young, and, and grow into believing in themselves as one people. So. Um, I'm wondering if you think there's a role also for educating, doing what we can to try to bring different kinds of children together, to educate them together in, in our institutions. Now, refugee uh, in big number is also a problem in Europe. Uh, number of sort of the, because of Islam seeker from Africa, from Northern Africa, and Middle East. So reject completely this uh, immoral. Should take, uh, should take them, provide facility, and in the meantime, not just for temporary, they give them uh, facility for their children education and health, and then the younger generation give them some sort of training. Eventually, they should return their own original country and rebuild their own country. So uh, if possible, when they return their own land with certain equipment to rebuild their country, Otherwise, it's a whole, uh, I mean, the people, difficult area, all, you see, went to other country. That also not uh, practical, not realistic. I feel that. So America, uh, oh, many years ago, one occasion in America, one meeting, oh, in Europe, in Germany, uh, one a uh, red Indian spiritual leader sent a message. Uh, and that message mentioned all white people should expel from American continent. <laughs> America, American continent belongs to red Indian. <laughs> uh, that, that also, you see, extreme. If it's the white people uh, from America, expel. Then I think that huge land, I think the native people cannot manage, I think, well. So now here, in this case also, you see, the 
I am sort of trying to promote through education. Seven billion human beings are same human being, mentally, emotionally, physically, we are same. So we need oneness of seven billion human beings. So with that sort of feeling, with that belief, wherever I go, I always feel same human brother, sisters, no differences. So if I too much emphasis, I'm Tibetan, I'm Buddhist, oh, I'm something different. Then when I visit different places, and actually uh, in my emotional level, I become very isolated, lonely person. But when I feel we are same human being, same human brothers, sisters, with that feeling wherever I go, no barrier. So we really need a sense of oneness of seven billion human beings. So in any way, uh, we are social animal. Uh, now, individuals' future depend on the uh, community. Now, in modern time, now, today, 21st century, I think whole world, seven billion human beings, actually one community. Human beings, one community. So, I feel the sense of oneness of seven billion human beings and take care of other. Take care of other is the best way to fulfill your own happiness. Here you see Buddhist concept, usually we say all sentient being, a mother sentient being. Uh, in reality, the limitless galaxies, different sort of sentient being there, this also mother sentient being, but no connection. Only this world, this planet. Within this planet, limitless insects, uh, different lives, we can't do anything. Only seven billion human beings, different language, but we can communicate because same human brain, same human heart. So uh, I dedicated my life as a one of the seven billion human beings, uh, try to create compassionate seven billion human beings through education, not necessarily to rely on God, but through our own education, use our own brain. Perfect. Uh, Perfect. <laughs> um, you told us that the child before education Hmm? The child, hmm. before education, happy, play with others, compassion, caring. Adults, after education, not compassion, not happy. Hmm? So the conclusion is that it's not that teachers you should teach children, but teachers should learn from children. Children hmm? should teach uh, As teachers. we already discussed, Existing education system is not adequate to bring happy individual. So education should include education, as I mentioned earlier, right from the beginning, hygiene of emotion. And then in education should include education about this as the inner world within this brain. There are so many minds, so many emotions. These should learn. In many occasions, now, over, now about 40 years, I have serious discussion with scientists, mainly uh, cosmology and new biology, and then uh, physics, particularly quantum physics, uh, then uh, 
psychology. Marve. Marve. Shivit. So, uh, very useful to learn each other. So, therefore, the, uh, so the scientist, when uh, psychology, when we discuss, then they very much appreciate to learn more about mental system according ancient Indian sort of tradition. We are student of ancient Indian knowledge. I usually say teaching Indian. Hmm? The traditionally Indian, our teacher, uh, we are student. But now today, <laughs> doubt. <laughs> <laughs> ancient Indian student, I think, a better knowledge than ancient our teacher, Indian. That also the Britisher. <laughs> you, I think, completely neglected about India's traditional sort of value and knowledge about mind. In Tibet, 20, 30 years study this ancient Indian knowledge as I briefly mentioned before. So, uh, I am one individual human being who hold my life, the difficult life. Age 16, I lost my freedom. Age 24, I lost my own country. There are a lot of problems. But during this uh, difficult period, the ancient Indian thought immense help to keep peace of mind. So, so you see, we, I, through my own experience nowadays, ancient Indian knowledge is how to keep, how to tackle our emotion. It's immense helpful. So, democracy is that. So, ultimately, our motivation and combine uh, sincere warm heartedness, but dull here is not also is not much useful. So brilliant brain and warm heartedness combine, then very good, then become very useful, very good. Yes. Um, actually, if uh, somebody is uh, a real educator. Um, the uh, such teacher who wanted to become a teacher. Uh, those uh, educators, those teachers, they try their best, many of them, they try their best uh, uh, to uh, bring children or students uh, in morality, to teach them uh, uh, life uh, as uh, human beings should live. They try their best, but they cannot find a room for uh, such uh, their attempts. Uh, they are completely su uh, suppressed uh, in this system of education which we have nowadays. I mean that many, many of them, they try uh, to do uh, also their own lessons of moral uh, education, they do. And there is a lot of different uh, uh, directions of moral education, value education, and upbringing uh, uh, traditions in different countries, and moral education as such, and so, so on. But there is no room for that, because uh, the only... The, uh, because the main demand for them is uh, to give such results which could be counted by this system. And in these frames of this Hmm? System, this policy, this policy became now the global one, not only in US, not only in Europe, but also in India, in Russia, so, everywhere hmm? educators suffer by themselves hmm? first. They want to do their best. They cannot to do their best as educators. Do you believe that uh, our initiative can uh, be successful and uh, we can really come to our result of this World Forum of educators from uh, global, globally, and we can really influence 
educational hmm? policy, policy of education. Do you believe in that? Some university in Delhi. Hmm? I think uh, annually can arrange this kind of meeting. Uh, and expenses, uh, the Lama Trust, is he can make some. I'll hold you to that. Hmm? I'll hold you to that. Oh, oh, oh. It's been recorded. So, it's been recorded. Oh. And then, also, I mentioned we are now already sort of planning hmm, some teachers' training at Dharmsala College. Hmm. Uh, we provided a uh, facility, rooms on these things. We have something. Previously, some Tibetan from Tibet. Now, they're much less. So some uh, extra sort of rooms there. So it is uh, very much sort of today happy to offer. So teachers training. Could you do it? At this moment, we planned a six-month certificate course in the government college, which was just day before passed by the Himachal University. And it is six months course, which includes a preliminary introduction of all the ancient Indian wisdom. And that is an uh, experiment basis uh, the government college in Dharamsala is going to. And then we also um, uh, give in three days or two days teachers training for the uh, secular ethics in uh, about uh, uh, 40 different schools in India. And the uh, five-day trained teachers were about, uh, uh, about uh, 2,000 teachers are covered and it is an ongoing project. And uh, after some time, then His Holiness has visioned a kind of uh, full-time teacher's training might be conducted in Dharamshala because we have some uh, empty spaces for conducting such courses. And that is just under planning. And once the uh, experiment basis, we are giving training to the uh, secular ethics, they may need some more uh, regular training who can become the trainers for the other uh, other teachers. So these are the one mm -hmm. projects. And at the same time, His Holiness also vision to uh, introduce the ancient Indian wisdom uh, to the uh, regular school curriculum for which we have set up an expert committee, uh, about seven uh, scholars of the various traditions. And we already make a curriculum from uh, KG to uh, class eight. And then class nine, 10, 11, we are still uh, under process. And uh, after uh, completion of this uh, 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 preparation of the courses, and uh, we are going to experiment in, uh, into the various uh, school level. And if, we, if the first uh, experiments have become successful, then we may approach to the education ministry or the boards, so it become a regular course for our daily school um, So subjects. we, I think, should fix some sort of, because of the time to be, time to Time period. Time frame. Oh, time frame. Then, uh, from foreign countries also, you see, can, can join some teachers' training here. Uh, and also, you see, in Delhi, some universities, you see, some sort of period uh, when they are around Christmas period or something. You see, you can make some program and then invite from different countries. Uh, of course, limited number. Uh, I think, as I mentioned earlier, firstly, India itself now should revive these things. So. Uh, some, I think, uh, in Delhi University. Sir, can I just want to 
wanted to have a brief argument with you. May I? Mm -hmm. Because you are repeatedly emphasizing Indian tradition. Yes. And uh, also, although you uh, emphasize secular mm -hmm. and you want to go beyond religion. Yes. But at the same time, you keep uh, all of everything you say, including yourself, your holiness, emanate from a religious traditions. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I see, um, I see the reason why you say it, that you want to go beyond religion so that it's more acceptable to everybody what you want to do in education and so on. But at the same time, uh, considering modern society, all the violence that has been talked about, or modern media, uh, the technology, how can we build a school culture that is actually deeply religious, that is where the sacred is present. Because I think self-inquiry, self-awareness, uh, understanding oneself, meditative practices, silence, along with modern education, is equally important. So if you keep emphasizing the absence of religion, not in a ritualistic sense. I don't mean ritual and chanting and all that, or uh, Muslim, Islam or Buddhism or Christianity or Hinduism, but the spirituality, is it not also essential in education? Why do you keep uh, denying that? Why do you keep talking about, I know you do it for practical reason, but at the heart of it is a religious mind are you not talking about a religious mind, a deeply religious, not in a particularistic sense, but in a, in a bigger mm. sense, in a deeper sense? And firstly, I think warm-heartedness, compassionate dogs, no religion, no faith, but they very much appreciate this compassionate attitude when you uh, show dogs, uh, not only just sort of a few pieces of, of bread or something, but meanwhile, showing loving kindness, then dog very much appreciate. Uh, without that, just give some bread. Uh, they take the bread, no response. If you show them uh, affection, so, social animal, whether we call religion or not, these deeper, or say the emotion which bring together, that's there. So we emphasize on that level. Then, uh, like I think these Nalanda masters, they are Buddhist, but they, they learn a lot of things from non-Buddhist tradition. <laughs> so religion, faith, individual business, these are our common sort of value. So we, we, we can do that. And within Buddhist, the Chitta Mantra uh, and the Madhimika, among those scholars of different school of thought, a lot of argument. In the meantime, learning each other. So, okay, no problem. I think we can make distinction, religious faith, and then certain sort of concept uh, come from religious thing. But you should take, as I mentioned earlier, kasa, uh, academic subject. Okay, no problem. This very room, I have, as I mentioned earlier, several meetings with scientists, and they learn many things from Buddhist psychology, but they remain as a scientist, no problem. And also, I, I myself describe uh, half Buddhist monk, half scientist, but still, still my sort of belief is religion. Buddha, Buddha Dharma, no problem. And then, uh, as I learned from 
sort of Kasuta, a scientist. There is no Mount Miru. Uh, the thousand years Buddhist text mentioned Mount Miru and the sun and the moon go like that. So some and the size of sun and moon, uh, more or less, is the same size. So then sometimes I jokingly express the the text. Who wrote that text, Bosuband? So when he wrote that text, his age quite old, so his eyesight not very good. Then cloudy day, he tried to look the size of sun. <laughs> and he found more or less same size. <laughs> so these are nonsense. Oh. I don't want to interrupt because it's a fantastic conversation we're having, but I'm just noticing the time. Yes. I'm just wondering if we might be able to continue the conversations maybe during lunch, Yes. if that's okay, okay. for you, um, because we are, we're pushing the time just now. Oh. Yes, and may, may I say uh, say last word of uh, thanking Your Holiness uh, for great contribution, so valuable contribution uh, for our conference because uh, we have a lot uh, of uh, ideas to discuss during our uh, next session uh, on education. And uh, certainly from our side, as uh, philosophers of education and educators, uh, we'll take our own responsibility uh, to take care of uh, the system of education, policy of education in the world uh, to uh, create this room for moral education uh, in, uh, in this modern education. That is re our real responsibility and that's why uh, we will be working for this World Forum after one year, so we'll initiate it and uh, then we hope uh, after one year we'll be able to invite Your Holiness uh, to mm -hmm. attend this World Congress, uh, World Forum, which will be not just uh, 15 participants, but uh, some uh, hundreds of participants from uh, all countries. Very good. You, this lady, I know since many years, Russian. So geographically, Russia is the bridge between West and East, isn't it? Now she also now acting that way. <laughs> <laughs> So one day, this kind of meeting, I think some, oh, the uh, Moscow University, Marve. Marve. Moscow, State University. Moscow State University. Moscow State University. You see, showing special interest, yeah, and including, we call Tukdam, person who passed, uh, I mean, after death, physical remain very fresh. So some equipment already, you see, kept in Bangalore. So, so Russian uh, really, you see, showing uh, a special interest. So then uh, these people from uh, different countries now really showing genuine interest. So this is interest for humanity, how to build Better world, happier world, peaceful world. That's our goal. And this brilliant human brain should not use how to, how to, how to make weapons to kill other. No. This wonderful brain should utilize how to bring peaceful world, happy world. So now, uh, uh, in order to a uh, happy individual, uh, stomach, <laughs> important, food, very important. Now come. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Your Holiness, dear delegates. Thank you very much for a very meaningful uh, dialogue.